Yes, I'm Marc Barretti, French ambassador to Pakistan. What has changed is, number one, that with COP21, we had the Paris Agreement, which is the first comprehensive and binding agreement regarding climate change with everybody on board, all stakeholders having participated, participating in the negotiation of the agreement. So this was a major step forward. But of course, it is not enough, because the commitment that we have taken in Paris, NDCs for instance, the way we implement them, well, we are not on the right course. We are not going to reach the 1.5 uh, target or even 2 degrees target that we have set. We are on another path. And what is especially worrying is that we have had the two uh, very important reports from IPCC and WWF that describes a very uh, worrying situation. What we know is that if we miss the window of opportunity, things are not reversible. It's not like a switch. Once the temperature will have raised, a number of natural phenomena will take place that will only increase our predicament. I give an example. In Siberia, there's a land called permafrost, where permafrost is, uh, let's say, deep breathed soil that retains lots of methane. The day permafrost melts, it releases methane in the atmosphere. And as you know, methane is a major ga green gas has uh, effect. So this will make things even worse. The Gulf Stream will stop. And this, we, are, we don't know how to restart it again. So we are missing a very important window of opportunity. What we should do now, and this is everything what COP24 is about, is two things, or perhaps three. Number one is implementation rules of uh, uh, NDCs. Number two is to raise our ambitions, because we are going to meet the target. So we cannot stick to the NDCs that have been decided. We have to go further. And this is what we're doing on national level. And I hope that all countries around the globe will do the same. Number three, uh, green climate fund. It has to be replenished, reabundant. There's a major issue that is governance. So we have to fix this as well, because we have to have money to finance the necessary changes in our economy, especially a number of countries that cannot afford. We have to help them. So this is really what we're expecting from, from COP. But there are other things that we can do. The International Solar Alliance, for instance, early warning system. So everybody has to be on board for this. I'm quite confident that the awareness is growing. And here in Pakistan as well, awareness is growing. Uh, we also have to cope with a number of political developments whereby stakeholders have been pulling out. We have been a major player in this world pulling out. We see that in other countries, in South America, some people are willing to pull out. We have to try and convince them that it's not the right move, but we don't, only, we don't rely only on governments. Very fortunately, we have the corporate sector, the uh, local governments, uh, the civil society, and this will help us uh, promoting the goals of COP21. Thank you.